Well, we were invited for a wedding reception that evening. So uh, I called Alex's office in the evening to know whether he had started from his office. And he said he had already started from his office. Alex was running late, uh, more than usual, and I kept on calling on his phone, he was not picking it up. And uh, in the meanwhile, my brother Marty, he was on his way to our home because he was also coming for the same wedding reception. Uh, but uh, I just kept on getting worried, uh, some kind of intuition you can say. Marty, how far away are you? I'm on my way, Alina. I'll be there in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, I'm a bit worried about Alex. He's not home yet and he's not even picking up this phone. Don't worry about him, Alina. He should have stopped over at Thompson's house. I'll be there soon. Can you give him a call? Don't worry, Alina. I'll do that. Alright, bye. I called him a few times, but he wasn't answering my call. That day morning, I called him to know the plans for reception. He told me that he might go to Thompson's house for some of his friends.
Where are you, May? We have been waiting for so long. I saw your friend lying on the ground. I think he is unconscious. Yeah. Yeah, I have already called the ambulance and they will be here in a minute. Where did you find him? Yeah, he is in Stud Road. Yeah, near to Dandina. I'm a little worried about Alex. He is not home yet. He is also not picking my phone. Alex came to my house to pick some documents. While well, he go, his car break down. I think the battery ran out, so he took my car and he left his car. <laughs>